Hello Leo, how are you today? Welcome. We at the bottom of the deck for you Leo, we have the two five of swords, yes. You're really feeling as though somebody is bothering you, you know, like you don't like something that's going on in the communication and the dynamic. You feel like your person's acting sort of irritable with you. Uh, your person's energy, though, is one of stability, one of love, one of happiness. Uh, they are in a pretty good mood about you. So, Leo, when we look at the energy here, what we're seeing is the Page of Wands. You threw caution to the winds in the recent past, um, and what you were met with was a very kind of quiet person. I think that you reached out to someone in the recent past, and they didn't really respond. They didn't respond as you thought they would respond. Leo, here you are in your reading. The current energy is that you're, you know, you're really looking forward to talking to this person. Leo energy shows me that you are very much in it to win it. You feel pretty happy. You feel optimistic. You know, your season will be here. Your birthday will be here in no time, Leo. Your person doesn't know whether you're in a successful cycle or whether you're closing it out or whether both will happen. Your person is feeling as though there's some sort of Lack of clarity about communication because we have them in this hanged man energy. Five of coins says that you feel like this person doesn't contact you enough. So we're seeing your person, Leo. We have Scorpio energy, we have Aquarius energy, and we have Pisces. So for many of you, you don't feel as though you're really hearing much. This person is hanging out. They're kind of very chill. It's a very nice energy. The hanged man energy is that they're trying to look at things from a different perspective. Again, I really think that your person wants this stability uh, in the relationship, and they're looking at that. When we look at the energy that says how you feel, is that you're holding back, you're holding, playing your cards close to your chest, you're taking a wait and see attitude with your person. Your person's manifesting something major here. So this is a creative energy. It's Virgo and Gemini energy. We have Capricorn energy. So you're staying kind of pulled in. You know, your energy is pulled in, Leo. So we do see you as being very optimistic, very willing to move forward uh, for a new cycle in your relationship. But you do feel as though your person is not being fully honest with you. The Seven of Swords energy is that you're feeling is that maybe they've left you behind. Um, but what I'm seeing in this energy is that they're leaving someone, some other place. They're moving. I think for many, this is a moving card. It's turning out to be a moving card. Your person also feels very burdened and very guilty about the things that they've done in your relationship. We're getting this emperor card. That's you. You're bossing up. They see you as a person who is standing in their power, that you're very good at what you do. Your person loves you. This is their energy. The queen of cups energy is that they love you. But when we look at the king of cups and the queen of cups, we're looking at people who tend to show their emotions. They tend to do things for you. It's very nurturing energy, but it does look as though they're going to be very dramatic in the near future. I feel as though they're getting out of this hanged man energy. They're really moving towards you and towards love because we see them moving away from something that really didn't suit them in the past, something that you may have known about, but they haven't really explained a lot to you. So I do feel as though they're moving towards you, Leo. It's really great, great energy. When we look at the Page of Pentacles, we see you wanting to make plans. Your person doesn't seem to be ready for that yet. The Three of Swords says that their attention is elsewhere. Um, I'm getting, you know, this can be a third party situation. Make no mistake, it can be. Uh, for those of you who, for whom it is not a third party situation, I feel as though your person is in uh, creative mode. They're building something, they're doing something, they're moving, they're creating wealth and abundance um, because we see this energy of the Hierophant. They're very much 
committed to something, whether it be an institution, a place, a project, whatever, but very traditional kinds of situation. So when we look at the energy that um, you're bringing in, both of you, currently in terms of your outcome is that you want a ring. You just want a ring. You want a commitment. You want to build something. You want an offer. Your person is studying the situation. They're thinking about it. They're not sure what they're going to do. You're underwater here. You have Pisces energy. You're feeling like, oh, what am I supposed to do? Sometimes you feel like you're drowning. You know, it's that feeling of, oh, will I ever know the truth? Will I ever see the light of day? And the beautiful truth is, look at that. They see you as a person with whom they could have a long-term committed relationship. So we're going to look at what the Wisdom of the Oracle has for advice for you. But it does look like you're you're going through a, kind of a tough time, Leo. You know, you don't really feel as though, you know, you, well, you do feel as though you've been orphaned. And I feel as though for many of you, you did have a period of time in the relationship when you were not in contact. A leg up, nice. Your person's going to be offering you some help in the near future. And we have here and now, nice, living in the moment, coming into this relationship. Let's look and see five different outcome cards for the two of you for this week. So it does show that your person has something that they're working on. It looks like you're aware of it. The magician card looks like something that you would know if they're working on a project, they're building something, they're moving, they're, you know, they're manifesting something. Uh, but you just don't know how you fit into the picture. So, in terms of Leo and their love interest, what is what are the outcome cards? Five outcome cards, please, at this time. Okay. They're still not telling you everything, okay? You do wonder if there's another feminine energy around them. You do feel as though you're defensive. You're going to stand your ground. I don't see you caving in, Leo. Let's see. Two more cards. Okay. Whoops. Something flipped here. Where is it? Oh. Okay. The high priest is reversed. So again, this person is not really letting you in on what they're doing. I am going to clarify the seven of swords. I'm going to clear. Here we go. This is a card that flipped over. They see you as the empress. That's manifesting your person. It looks as though, again, you're not getting their undivided attention right now, but it does show them moving towards you. They've made the decision, okay, the hermit card. They haven't told you, but they have made a decision about the relationship. The fact that they feel the relationship with you is one that is very beautiful. It's, uh, it works for them. Let's look and see what these uh, wellness time, uh, island time wellness says about the Seven of Swords. We've seen it twice. Seven of Swords. Not showing their feelings. They hide their personality. They have a tendency to be secretive by nature. If they're Scorpio... That's part of what I'm seeing here, is you might be dealing with a Scorpio because we have a Scorpio King. They have a tendency to, you know, just do things, do things. Okay. The butterfly relationship is evolving, the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Good. Let's see. So that your relationship is moving to the next phase. We have the Empress card here. We have your person hasn't told you yet. Virgo energy, again, working on a project of some sort, and the energy of mirroring each other, self-image relationships reflect our wounds. So what we're seeing here is that, Leo, you may have some wounds in the past about a past relationship in which somebody wasn't honest with you, okay? But what I'm getting here is that that's something that is coming into alignment now and awareness for the both of you. So anyway, Leo, I hope you like this reading. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much. Sending love and light. Bye-bye.